Hello my friends, welcome to another episode of Deep True Crime where we explore the current cases and past cases and go deep into what happened in those moments to help you stay on top of what you need to know, what to be aware of, how to stay alert. I'm no expert at things, but I tell you, you always want to be aware of your surroundings, right? You want to know, you want to be aware of those you're trusting. Some people you can, some people you cannot, right? And that's the whole focus of this channel. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, my friends. We're going to dive right into it because I want to keep you updated on what is going on out there. That's a big part of why I do this. Our last story we want to share with you is she was murdered after her breakup with her boyfriend. And here's another, and I'm telling you, I I wish it wasn't this way, but it seems like there's so much domestic violence. I feel like this needs to be heard. Guys, if it's you that's causing this problem, you got to understand these stories. They're here for a reason because things happen. People lose their cool. Does that sound like you? Catch yourself now. Ladies, does that sound like you losing your cool and, and doing something that you regret? catch yourself now because this is in the news way too much way too much and you and it's like how does this keep occurring and so here we are this amazing north carolina woman she was scared about her breakup she just had only to be killed by her ex the one she broke up with. And this is a murder-suicide case where he murdered her and when the police closed in on him, when the police closed in on him, he turned the gun on himself as they were closing in on him. And so you have this amazing woman taken way too soon. Her name, Zamega Whitfield. Rest in peace, Zamega Whitfield. And so her older sister even says about her, she was everything. Whenever you hear people talk like that, it's obvious they left a big impact on people's lives. And so, you know, she was in an alleged abusive relationship with her ex-boyfriend and now here she was she was she was going to leave this relationship she's been wanting to leave this relationship for a while she was trying to leave this relationship for a while and now she was shot to death she was only 25 years old and so she's been trying to break up with this 20-year-old, Michael Culpepper, because of these problems. She, she already had fear for what he was capable of. She already had fear of this and breaking up with him. What is he capable of? And that's where it gets really sad because it was obvious. It was obvious she knew this may not end well. She was afraid of what will happen. And to me, that is that even adds so much more to this sadness. Adds so much more. And so officers were called to a Fayette, Fayetteville in North Carolina, a neighborhood there, on Thursday morning, just before 7.30 in the morning. So it was early morning. And the... According to a statement by the police, the preliminary investigation revealed a male subject shot a female subject and then a nearby resident contacted 911 to report the incident. And as the statement continues, responding officers located an adult male on his knees outside of the residence 
in the roadway holding a handgun. As the first officer was arriving, the male subject turned the handgun on himself and shot himself. He obviously knew he was going to be paying for this. And whenever this happens, there it's hard to get justice now for the family. The coward knew he did not it was not going to end well for him and he was going to end up in prison for the rest of his life and obviously he did not want that and so here he is dead and he took his own life as the coward he is and so her older sister she's like about uh, you know about her like she was amazing she was my baby she was so smart she was everything so this amazing north carolina woman taken at the age of 25 and according to her sister she says i guess last night they had got into it or whatever and then he had busted my mom's rent a car window because they were moving stuff into her house so they were moving her out of there, bringing her into mom's house, and he was upset and busted her window. Man, that's a, that's, that's the, yeah, I wish they would have called the cops last night or something. The next morning, my mom said Whitfield was already scared. And I don't even know how do you prevent this? How do you prevent this? If the cops are there the night before, he's already got it in him to do this. If the cops are already there and they take him in, he's going to get out. I mean, like, how do you prevent this? This is where it gets so hard when this these type of things occur. How do you prevent that? Because he had it in him to do it, and that's why he did it. Because it was in him to do it. What led him down this road? I don't know. I don't know. But there you have it. She breaks up. Or actually, she might not have even gotten to the full breakup. But she's murdered after wanting to break up with this guy for so long. And here goes Culpepper. He's not going to live without her, I guess. Like, (laughs) my friends, thank you again for joining me today. My goal is to help you stay alert. To help you stay aware. To help you know what is going on around you what are people capable of you never know you never know we all probably at one time in our life want to do everything right but we're humans and we don't do everything right but you have to learn what causes these things what causes this 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 momentary lapse of reasoning in people i'm not a psychologist i don't claim to be one i have no clue what people go through But I know that when you have something going on, you want to deal with it. You cannot let it go because the worst of the worst, like I've described today, can happen. Thank you for being a part of the show today. This is Deep True Crime where we explore further true crime cases today, past, and what's going on. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Peace.